Hello to all clean energy enthusiasts. Welcome to the Fixed Focus program. In this program, I want to talk about the new greenhouse heating system. Greenhouses are one of the most beautiful and enjoyable places. Especially if we are responsible for growing flowers ourselves. Greenhouse is an isolated place for growing flowers and plants. Temperature, humidity, light, water and fertilizer are the factors of effective growth of plants in greenhouses. Today there is good equipment for greenhouses. An advanced greenhouse has a complete electronic system. Greenhouses what of the conventional system and what of the hydroponic system to use. Their temperature should be controlled, neither too cold nor too hot. Greenhouses are built in different places, some in cold places and some in hot places. Some of them are far from urban areas and some are near cities. Some have fewer possibilities and some have more possibilities. But we have to meet the needs of the greenhouse for proper productivity. One of the most important factors for plant growth is the temperature inside the greenhouse. Usually this temperature should be between 16 degrees Celsius to a maximum of 35 degrees Celsius. Greenhouses in temperate regions have less need for heating and cooling systems. In these areas, even with air exchange, the temperature of the greenhouse can be controlled. And if necessary, use the evaporative cooler to cool the greenhouse and increase the humidity. And you can even use the misting fan. But most of the problem is greenhouses in cold areas. In these areas, the greenhouse temperature should be raised to the required amount. Cooling of the greenhouse slows down the growth rate of the plant. Most greenhouses have no problem heating the greenhouses during the day. Because even partly cloudy weather can heat the flower space of the house. The main problem is heating the greenhouse during the night. And today there are several ways to heat greenhouses. The easiest but most expensive way is to use an electric fan heater. Another way to use fossil fuels is to use oil or diesel fuel heaters. In addition to spending money, it has its own problems. In some areas to keep the greenhouse warm it in the gaps they make the earth. By doing this, the four sides of the greenhouse are surrounded by soil. Another way to heat a greenhouse is to use solar water heaters. Or use black polyethylene pipes that are ring or linear. And by doing so, some water is heated by sunlight. Used to raise the temperature of the greenhouse. This method is cheap but not very effective. The method I want to introduce to you now requires neither fuel nor electricity. Of course, some investment is required and it will be low cost. If you have a greenhouse and do not know about the fixed focus system, please be sure to watch the fixed focus movie. Well, let's go to the steps of getting the job done. Now I assume that you are quite familiar with the fixed focus system. First prepare a metal tank. The size of the tank depends on the area of the greenhouse, the severity of the ambient cold, and the type of greenhouse insulation. And it's a little difficult to calculate. If your greenhouse is small, you can use water heater tanks. And insulate its surface. The tank can have two inputs and two outputs. Any tank you choose must be completely insulated. You can use aluminum polyphosphate insulation to insulate the tank. Or use mineral wool insulation and make sure the insulation is well done. In this method, we have two ways. The first is to use very hot heating. That is, use oil in the tank. By doing this, we can heat the oil in the tank up to 300 degrees Celsius and use its heat during the night. Of course, a suitable method must be chosen so that this heat does not cause the plants to burn. But it seems that it is better to use a fan coil. And install it at the right height of the greenhouse. In the method of using oil, a large amount of energy can be stored. However, the insulation of the tank and the connecting pipes must be done in a principled way. Burying an insulated tank in the soil will help prevent heat loss. 
Therefore, bury the tank in the ground with insulation as much as possible. In the second method, you have to use a larger tank and use water instead of oil. In this case, you can raise the temperature of the water to boiling point during the day and in front of the sun. And use the heat of water when the air is cold. The difference between oil and water is that if you use oil, you need a smaller tank, but the energy exchange between the tank and the outside environment will be high. Because the higher the temperature, the higher the heat exchange will be. Using water exchanges less energy and you can retain its heat for a longer time. But you need a bigger tank. It should be noted that the type of tank insulation is extremely important in maintaining the temperature. Therefore, whether the tank is made of oil or water, we can use the heating system as central heating. Building such a system will be convenient and safe if you build it carefully. If your greenhouse is large, you can use several fixed focus systems with a large solar dish. The heat capacity of this system is very high. Even if the sun is on the horizon.